here's a look at South Padre Island right now currently 81 degrees as the sun begins to rise. We are dealing with mostly clear conditions, good conditions to be do any type of outdoor activities, but it is going to be hot in the afternoon with those temperatures once again becoming sweltering. Right now, McAllen sitting at 80 degrees. East southeast winds at 10 miles an hour. We're dealing with a few clouds around our upper valley, but Brownsville sitting at 81 degrees, so we are quite warm already. But other than that, as we look at those current wind speeds, we're going to see those winds around 8 to 10 miles an hour there, and we're not going to be as breezy as what we were dealing with yesterday. As far as your dog walk forecast, keep in mind to keep those pups hydrated as we head into those afternoon hours because we are going to see those temperatures get up to about 90 degrees by the 10 a.m. hour, 11 a.m. hour, 95 degrees ultimately in the hundreds from Harlingen to McAllen. One once again, so we might even be about 99 to 100 degrees and just keep in mind the humidity makes it feel all the more hotter as we look at that heat index. So make sure the pups are hydrated between the hours of like 10 a.m. to around 5 to 6 p.m. Also, we're dealing with some dry weather in place, so there is a fire danger hazard. There is fire, very high uh, conditions of chance for very high fire conditions for the lower valley stretching as far west as McAllen. This is from the Texas A&M Forest Service, so definitely use extreme caution if you are doing any type of outdoor burning. The latest drought monitor was released yesterday showing abnormally dry conditions all across the valley, so those drought conditions once again becoming closer and creeping into our area as we have not received any rain for the past few weeks. Other locations across Texas Mostly bad, extreme to exceptional conditions in terms of the drought index. 99.1% of the state now dealing with these extreme measures of uh, lack of rain as well as those wildfire risks. As far as our precipitation outlook as we head into the end of the month, it's going to be slightly wetter for the panhandle, even for us as well. So we expect the Climate Prediction Center to show mostly calmer conditions. We're really not going to show any much changes in our weather pattern, all thanks to that high pressure system that's currently in place. That's going to once again be building back across Texas and keep those conditions very calm there. So highs in the 90s and 100s, lows in the 70s and 80s, as well as those conditions just remaining quiet and clear, at least from here on out as we head into the next few days with really no significant rain chances. We could see some stray showers for the coastal areas, but just really not looking likely as we head into the week into the start of next week. Also, the tropics, very quiet as of now. No activity expected within the next five days. We do some have some Saharan dust in place that is uh, preventing those tropical systems from forming. However, the activity during hurricane season, our peak time is around the end of August through September. We're in July, so we're usually used to not seeing much activity as of now. We're still not out of the woods yet. We still have August and September there to usually to see those tropical systems performing as we head into the next few days. As far as our seven day forecast, temperatures remaining hot and sweltering, topping it at 98 and Saturday and Sunday lows in the 70s, but just remaining mostly sunny for the next seven days.